Greetings and salutations, it's Donks. Um, just want to do a little video covering um, what I think of what's been going on um, in the game so far. Uh, last time I did this was on the collab event, so we're going to cover the anniversary. Uh, my initial thoughts are, um, it's certainly a lot better than the collab event in my opinion. There's lots going on. Um, so we just go into here and we've got our anniversary check-in um, where we're getting basically uh, limited cards, we're getting gene hybrids, we're getting parts of um, gene mutations and all of that stuff. Um, as you can see obviously we're at day 13 is it? I don't know. No, 15, don't know, we're not nowhere near that. We're not, but anyway. We got um, all this stuff. This one at the end here is quite good because you get a red prototype, which is really good. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Obviously, we've got some limited crystals to go. And we've got some mythic runes. Um, you see we've got a selector there. And we have some limited cards there. Um, anniversary gifts. Now, what I advise you to do is complete these ones. Um, get the yearly pass. If you're going to spend money, get the yearly pass because it's literally the best offer they've ever had in the game um, for your money. You get so much for it. You get red rooms every month. Um, you get that um, trophy as well, uh, which is pretty decent. Um, but complete your challenge, Lost Valleys. Um, I don't know, it doesn't show me yet. Yeah, you basically have to do a total of 200 um, of Lost Valleys, which is really achievable in time. Uh, Crimson Abyss, um, you've got to do um, 120 of those, I believe it is. So just using a few extra diamonds for it, and you get money for the diamonds as well, um, where well, you get points for the diamonds as well. Um, using the candles and in this challenge with this. Obviously, if we go back, where are we? Here, there's a few new ones that are coming soon. Um, I'm assuming at least one of those is Twilight, um, but the other ones, um, we'll have to see what they are. And uh, I'll do my um, patch notes tomorrow because obviously there's a lot coming out, um, including a new assassin hero, which we'll get into. Uh, but just in terms of the light up Halloween, uh, most people with, if you've taken all of the free candles that they gave you, I think you've had about 20 uh, so far, uh, it should have taken you up to 80 um, and that's going to have given you um, a gene breakthrough core, mythic runes, some astral cards, I think that was 5. Uh, I think that was 10 Mythic Runes and some more Astral Cards there. Uh, obviously going up, you're going to get a frame, a uh, Gene Breakthrough Core. And at the moment, um, it's looking like um, you won't quite get to this, to the Wicked Skin, unless they offer more in the game um, in terms of rewards from the upcoming events or in terms of codes it's going to be difficult well at the moment impossible to achieve wicket free to play that's not to say it will end up being impossible um but at the moment it is um that's the only slight negative on there or it might not be a negative if they sort it out and we do get it um there's obviously halloween packs and stuff in there as well um but in terms of what they're offering i like the new endless i think it's really good let's just go into that and have a look because every two days you're getting new ones which i think is fantastic because i don't know about you guys but by the end of it and end this session i'm so bored with hitting the same bosses again and again and again 
Um, and obviously this one here is obviously Sammy, who's going to be the new assassin. So that's really interesting to um, have that in the game and just have a look at him. He looks like, from his kit, I won't do a full review at the moment. Um, I'll probably do that with him um, once I get him. And I'll probably go through a few bits and bobs on that um, once I've the patch notes have come out and we can have a proper look and, and do it that way because things are subject to change. Um, but for this one, I'll just tell you what I'm using. For Sammy, basically I'm using Purin, Fiona, uh, Rebecca, Moto and um, Dom. This gives me the best scores that I can get on this. Um, I'm using Purin in a resonant set. I'm using Rebecca in a resonant set and I'm using Fiona in a resonant set. And obviously my two assassins I'm using in um marauder gear um but i think from what i can see the new assassin when he comes out i think possibly don't quote me on it yet but i think he might be a candidate for fade out gear uh, i don't think marauder is going to work on him and i'll get into reasons for that um in subsequent videos um in terms of killing fields um this is the current ones obviously they're, they're rotating it all the time um, I'm actually finding a straight out um, summoners team is what's working for me here with dominant nucleus I haven't got a middle prototype so I'm using equalizer and I'm using um, uh, revitalization crystal just because it's the strongest um, and the last one of uh, forbidden mist Basically, I'm using three hunters. I am using Taylor, Arcadia, and Rebecca. Um, obviously, using those in bug gear, resonant and bug gear. Um, I'm using a Rorty gear on Taylor um, with bug gear. Arcadia is also resonant, and obviously, I've got Dom in there to lay the mark. And the trick of this is to basically just get that mark down and use Arcadia to sort of hit it down. I'll just show you briefly, it probably won't be the best score because it's just a quick one. Let's just move my head out of the way a minute. And I'll just show you briefly what I mean with this one. So I slow it down to one. So basically as you can see, shield's up. As soon as Arcadia's there, we hit that shield. And then about six seconds, we can get there, we hit Taylor, and then we hit Dom to land just as the shield explodes. Best way to do it. I'm waiting on Arcadia. I will hit that because we get extra hits from Purin. As soon as he's up on his feet, I normally wait for him to jump. Now watch him, he's gonna jump, jump, and then I hit it because if you hit him in mid-jump, you lose the impact of what you've done. Okay, quick one there. Now I haven't got bug gear in, so this isn't going to be the top score, and I've also just messed it up because I didn't realize quite how. This won't be the top score because I haven't got a bug gear on, but this is just about how how I hit it basically. Now I should have done that Dom hit earlier, that's fair enough. So again he's going up and down, and then Arcadia blast. And a little one on there and hit Dom to land when the shield goes down. Again, just keeping it going. I'm a bit slower than normal because I'm talking to you guys, but this is just about how you do it, not the best score. This isn't going to be the best score. There we go, and you hit Don as well. So you're basically saving Taylor's and Dom's ults and Arcadia's ults, everybody up to um, basically. I'm too busy gassing, I'm missing my opportunities here. I should have hit that earlier. This isn't going to be the best one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
There we go, he's out of there. Okay, he's about to go up. I would have hit Don, but he was a bit slow on the uptake there. So, smash that down. I've only, I haven't really attempted this properly yet on this round. Uh, but I think the most I've got to is over about 43 million. I, I think I can probably increase that with a little bit of concentration. But there you go, so that's basically how that works. As you can see, I've got 43 on there. So the fact that they're moving these around um, and you've got these different ones each time I think is a really good thing. I'm excited to see what other events they're coming in with. Um, I've heard this little one about the cards as well. Um, so that's going to be interesting. But overall I would say that the update and the anniversary events are really good and I'm, I'm quick to moan when things aren't great but I'm also quick to credit, I think they've done a good job with it. Uh, the new SP hero, I'm not sure about SPs in, in honestly, I, I think it's um, it's not the best thing to do, especially for free to play people, um, and even for paying people it's like so expensive. Um, but they are releasing other good characters and um, as long as you're not bothered about competing with people with SPs, um, then I think you should just concentrate on the, the content that the game is delivering, um, which I think is quite good so far. So overall, I'm going to give them an A in my report this month. I think they've been um, they've been pretty decent. But as usual, I've been Donks, you've been amazing, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care, guys and girls.